Hi guys, I am sitting in this beautiful park in Barcelona. It's a beautiful day and I feel very inspired to just talk to you guys and share with you um, some of the recent changes in my life. So I went to this um, Moon Cocoon retreat in April in uh, Catalonia. Um, it was near a town called Olot and we stayed in this countryside house for 10 days and the theme, uh, yeah, it was a new moon. It was a new moon. Um, and for me specifically, that new moon uh, was about fear and all my fear that I have felt in the past was activated in one go. So you can actually imagine how intense it was. But um, luckily, it was a very safe environment for me to be able to um, feel my fear and to process it at the same time. Um, the host were Amazawa and Mitra. They, they were really, really able to um, uh, hold space for me and make it very, very safe for me, basically, to feel my fear and to process my fear as well. So, and that has been something really, really significant for me. I can feel there are many other layers still, but at least it's like it starts to unfold itself. And the other big change is my codependency. <laughs> oh my God, like I start to get out of my codependency pattern. And I basically realized in my life like the past 30 years, 30 years, I was codependent with everyone. So in my meditation, I, I could see that it is not me being codependent. It is me codependent. Like codependent was really like completely integrated with me. So every single thing I do, every single thing I say, behavior or every single thing I don't do or don't say is from that codependency pattern basically it's that intense and I realized that I would actually even be codependent with just a stranger let's say just a waiter or waitress and in that retreat I was able to uh, see like really specifically see for me if I want to change my codependency pattern it would be speak up when I have something to say, like really not hold myself back from saying what I think, what I feel and share my opinion, my insights. Yeah, so I started to practice that in the retreat. So I just uh, shared it openly with, with, with everyone that I have discovered this pattern of me. And from now on, I would like to just you know, practice really speak up when I have something to say and everyone was very supportive. So again, it was a very safe and um, very safe and very uh, 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 organic environment for me to, to practice that because you can imagine if someone has been codependent for the past 30 years, it's actually very scary to suddenly um, say everything um, you are thinking or that is going on in your mind. Or basically sometimes just simply say no to someone when you feel you really cannot do that, you know, that, that thing that is going on inside you. So it's extremely important actually to find the right people and the right space to do that because you don't want to um, re-traumatize yourself and to reinforce your old um, unhealthy beliefs when it comes to change these patterns. So, um, so 
yeah so it's important to find people who really understand and who really can and be able to have the capacity to create a safe environment for you and to allow you to do that um, yes and the other thing is um, we we learned about human design in this retreat it was mainly uh, it was mainly introduced by Amazawa it's one of his expertise and um, it has really 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 um, helpful like being very helpful for me but like any words is so powerless for me to describe this experience basically I learned that I am a manifester and so it explains everything like why I am like this you know um, when I grow up basically all my natural traits were seen as wrong bad and they were shamed and I was never really encouraged to being who I am um, but now learned about my human design it really really allows me to embrace me just for who I am and allow myself to be myself um, embrace my natural traits and I am a manifester with uh, uh, spleen authority spleen authority so that means I would just get um, intuitions and wisdom like that I would just get it like from my body with no reasoning and no context but I, I have to learn to trust that and then go with it that's where my wisdom is coming from and it has always been that way for me but I was just sometimes I just doubt you know um, uh, myself but now as I really learn to embrace myself and uh, trust you know my intuition my life start to uh, change and unfold so much fast like every single day basically I'm feeling very different um, and I feel a lot of releasing physical release um, emotional release as well um, it has been uh, very intense and wonder and wonderful and loving at the same time and I have found people like we are really really compatible with each other like this this host like her name is Mitra oh my gosh like I didn't believe this kind of relationship could exist it's like it's effortless like I just simply by being me naturally is already enough for her to feel so much being received being loved being supported and she just need to buy you know she just need to be her and that is already enough to make me feel so much being loved supported protected appreciated be seen and everything it's just like it exists guys it, it really really exists it's about the matter of finding those people that can be perfectly compatible with you and um, so because of that we decided to do more um, interesting workshops and retreat together and in July we're going to do it um, together like uh, we're going to do like two days workshop in Switzerland about connection about emotions and we're going to do another eight days uh, healing retreat it's actually another um, moon cocoon retreat um, in July as well it will be in France and very close to Switzerland in Alps area and the theme is going to be uh, Capricorn uh, new uh, sorry full moon so it's 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 going to be a full moon and the theme will be conflicts so I could foresee that maybe when we talk about conflicts we probably automatically thinking about conflicts with other people it is part of it but a lot a lot of times it's actually our internal conflicts that being reflected out externally you know with other people so I could see that it will be a great time to do parts work with our polarized 
um, parts, you know, inside. So we're going to do a lot of that and we're going to do some body movement um, to release and to just allow our body to flow because a lot of things actually they are stored up in our body even to our conscious consciousness we don't remember anymore but everything is still in our body so somatic experience is very very crucial when it comes to healing and new experiences or missing experiences whatever you call it uh, and many more. Like, I cannot remember like exactly what we're going to do, but like, like I'm very exciting, very very exciting. And and now I'm sitting here in this park. I'm feeling the wind on my face, on my skin, on my hair. It feels like being loved. It feels like. It really really feels like someone is loving me and very gently touching me kissing me it, it's amazing <sighs> yeah I just feel very inspired to share this with all of you and um, keep looking don't settle you deserve the best